In the previous videos, we were talking about the main toolbars inside of OpenOffice and the different functionality you can find on them. However, I haven't shown you how to actually customize a toolbar in any depth yet. So in today's video, that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I'll show you how to customize any toolbar inside of OpenOffice. And if you'd like, you can even create your own brand new toolbar. So the quickest way to get into customizing toolbars is to click at the end of any toolbar that has this little down arrow in the gray box, and it'll give you a drop down menu of which one option is Customize Toolbar. When you click that, you'll be brought up with the Customize window, and in the Customize window, you can not only customize the one you selected to customize for, but every other toolbar inside of OpenOffice as well. If you want to modify a toolbar that's already default to OpenOffice, you simply select it from this list of different toolbars. And once you've done that, you go down here to Toolbar Content, and you'll see a list of many different toolbar commands, most of which are most likely going to be enabled, but you may see a few that aren't actually enabled by default, but are grouped together as part of that toolbar's default content. Now, if you'd like to add or remove any of these from the toolbar, all you need to do is click on the checkbox. If it's checked, it's going to appear on the toolbar. If it's not checked, it's going to be left off the toolbar, even if it's contained within this list of commands. Now, if you want to add something that's very different than what that toolbar normally supports, you can click on this Add button over here. And the Add button will bring open the Add Commands dialog which gives you literally every command you can possibly put on a toolbar um, in many different categories. And you can spend minutes, uh, probably half an hour, going through all of these if you really wanted to. But in general, you just want to go for the category you think the command might be in and see if it is actually contained. Very likely, there is something that does similar to the function you're looking for, unless it's a very, very, very specific thing, in which case macros may actually be a better option. But we'll talk about macros in depth in a future video. Macros are where you basically have pre-recorded commands that can be run over and over again, much like a shortcut, but they're user created instead. Now, if you want to create your own toolbar, you go up here to Open Office Writer Toolbars, go over here to the right of the window and click New. Now, this will give you a little dialog box to create a new toolbar. So let's just got new toolbar for simplicity. No reason to get complicated here. You'll be given a blank slate with nothing on it to choose from. Now, if you're going to want to actually put anything on it, you're going to have to use add command, of course. And you can put literally any commands you want on it. So if you want graphics, uh, such as the picture command, to format the size, position, and other properties of a graphic, and maybe in addition to that, for some reason, you want some drawing commands, like the ability to create an arc. You can do that on a single toolbar. Now, where you actually save it is going to actually matter. If you save it in OpenOffice Writer itself, it'll be consistently there across all your different documents because it's becoming part of the program settings itself. However, if you save it in the second option, or your document name rather, it'll be saved only in the document you're working in, so it won't be shown anywhere else. An even quicker way you can change the icons that are actually showing on a toolbar is to click on the drop down arrow for a toolbar, go over to visible buttons, and then just select the ones you want to remove or add back onto the toolbar. Now you'll notice this is the same list that was actually contained in the overall toolbar commands list. So if you want to add other options to the toolbar that aren't on here, you will need to go into customize toolbar. But if you wanted to turn one off, like the save function, for instance, you just left click on it and bam, it's gone. Now you can do the same to re-enable it, of course, and we probably do want to keep the save function in all honesty. Now, if you do have a toolbar on this list that is showing and you want to remove it or isn't showing and you want to add it, then what you can do is go to view toolbars. And this will be a list of all the toolbars you have in OpenOffice, including the custom ones we've created. And it'll show which ones are actually showing because it will have a check mark. That check mark means it's showing on one of these two bars. So if we want to remove that, for instance, getting rid of the new toolbar we created, we just left click on it and bam, it's gone. So that's the gist of customizing your toolbars with an OpenOffice writer. As you can see, it's not too difficult and it's highly flexible as well. 
So that's it for this video. Till the next one. See you then.